Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Today we're going to be braiding my hair. Okay, so hi and welcome to my channel. So, I did the intro, well, the intro part to this video hours ago. I've been doing my hair for nearly 10-ish hours. But I'm finally on my last four braids. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do my knotless braids. Um, they're really small. I never did this this, uh, I never did them this small. I only did them this small this time. Um, and one time before this time. Like, I do not be doing that, but. Today I'm gonna be doing a hair video for Vlogmas. Sorry I missed Vlogmas yesterday. It was a long day and I honestly just couldn't do it. I'm sorry. Try my best. But we're back again today. We're just gonna carry on and pretend that never happened. So I'm gonna take my hair pieces and we're gonna separate them. I separate them into like, most people have a set number and I wanna say that I usually do like five or seven. It depends on the size, but you just wanna go from small to large and you make individual little pieces. I wanna show you guys after I set them out. But. So, so you're gonna wanna <laughs> pull your hair apart like this. Put your extra hair to the side. So the way I do this, um, I do the one in the front because that way you guys can get a good view. Um, I'm so tired. Like I literally have been doing my hair all day. This is the only thing I've been able to do. Like, oof. but I have an interview tomorrow, so wish me luck. Maybe we'll start making some more money soon. So you're gonna make your part. Put the rest of this hair back. I just use a clip, sometimes I use a scrunchie, use whatever you've got, it doesn't really matter. As long as all the rest of the extra hair is out the way. And I use this yellow edge booster. I honestly don't like edge booster, so I'm not even gonna pretend to recommend it to you, but that's what I'm using today, cause it was $10, so I'm gonna use it. I've been using it on my braids and it's been working for me, like it's cool. And I just smooth it out with my fingers. Some people brush it, but Honestly, I don't feel like doing all of that, so hopefully you can see this, but you just start braiding it a little closer. You just start braiding it on its own a couple times, three or four times. You take a small piece like this, and the way I do it is I do it backwards like so, and combine that into this hair, and then do it again. When you add them in, well for me, I only add them in... Well, I add it in and then I just braid down one time. Like, this is one time for me. And then I add the next one. That way it looks a little bit more smooth, if that makes sense. Uh, I was going to show y'all earlier. Like, how, what braid I was on, but... Girl, I was so tired. Like, I'm so tired now, but... I got a little more energy built up. I took a snack break, so... <laughs> Oh, I did take breaks to eat twice, but they were like 10 minutes because I be trying to get my hair done, like doing all your hair in one day, girl. These little braids, you just got to keep going. But yeah, I just keep adding in the hair like this. And this is my last section right here, I think. I might have to add some more in. But this should be cool. Sorry if you see some of these because some of them look a little bit jacked up, not gonna lie. Because I accidentally cut one of my packs of hair too freaking short, but that's besides the point. So after you feed it in all your pieces, it'll look like this. You're just gonna want to continue to braid it down, but I had to flip my hands so that way it's easier. You're just gonna try to make that transition as smooth as you can, do your best. Um, it's a lot easier when you're using hair that's the same color as your hair, but for me, I just have to deal with it. Um, I feel like I still did pretty good though on the blend, I guess. The best I could without tucking. Because I don't actually know how to tuck color hair with knotless braids. So, yeah. And I only do knotless braids now, literally. But yeah, you're just going to keep braiding down. I braid kind of fast, I think, I hope. Even though these took me like 10 hours, I feel like <laughs> that's really reasonable, I guess. Just gonna keep braiding down um i braid these are not as long as they could be they're just like to my butt 
kind of so I just braid if you can see like almost all the way down but if you don't get all the way to the end that's cool too like it doesn't really matter this is me real time braiding so you can understand that it's not going to be that quick honestly especially if you're just beginning like if you're a beginner then yeah Oh, and as you're going down the braid, you're gonna want to kind of pull out the knots. Like, as you can see, a braid starts to form at the bottom. So you're gonna wanna pull those knots out every couple of strands to make sure you don't get a knot in the hair like you see I'm doing. And yes, yeah, sometimes you'll get little hairs that stick out. I honestly just usually cut those off and it turns out fine, so. Don't have to worry about that. that is how you do a novice braid so i am going to show you guys it again because i feel like you need to see it more than once i guess but i am going to time lapse it and show you guys me doing maybe the rest of my braids i guess we'll find out and see So I finished all my braids, finally. Um, this is how they look so far. Every time I braid, these two braids look so far ahead of the other ones. Maybe it's the way I part. I don't know what it is. They just make them so far ahead. But yeah. So I'm gonna make the ends curly. And the way I do that is I just put them in braids. I saw somebody do this in a video. I don't remember where. I think it was on Instagram to be honest. And that is how I've been getting my curly ends, to be honest. So you just braid. You don't need to braid up there for real, but you need to braid down here. Actually, I think I need to make this too. Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> you split that in two. And then braid each one. Braid your braids. into smaller braids. The main part that you want to get is the ends. Um, like as you can see down here is really where you want to get it braid it up, all that good stuff. All the way to the end, girl. Don't even try not to get to the end, just do the ends. So I'm about to braid my other braids and I'll come back. Okay, so I braided up each end and this is how we're gonna dip them. I feel like I look like Gretel. <laughs> for me, it's a like Gretel. But yeah, we're about to go dip our ends like this, so let's go. So we're waiting for the water to heat up. I don't recommend doing it this way. I recommend putting it on the stove, but I put it in a cup and put it in the microwave and that's just what it's gonna be. But yeah, that is what we're doing right now. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I do when I dip it. Oh, and make sure you have a towel handy because you're gonna want to dry it so it don't drip all on you because it's gonna be hot. Okay, I gotta move fast, but this is the cup right here. It's real hot, so I gotta be careful. Um, and we're just gonna dip it like so. Dip it in, pull it out, dip it back again. Let me just do that. Ooh, that was hot. You wanna layer up the towel? Good. Imagine missing. <laughs> yeah. uh, I know this piece of real long, but we gonna cut that. So yeah, I'm gonna dip that in. Okay, dip it out. 
the back there. That is how you quickly dip your ends. See them? And then just dry them off a little bit more and then I take out the braids, so. Okay, now we're back and I'm just gonna take out these braids. It's really nothing special about this. You just take them out. They're still wet, but it's cool. Like, it really don't matter. You don't gotta wait for them to dry or nothing. At least I don't. Maybe if I did, they might come out a little curlier, but I don't know. So like that. Oh, you could probably blow dry it if you want it to come out curlier. I mean, if you, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, blow drying it might do something. I'm not sure. <laughs> so this is how the ends looked all out. And this is the end of the video. What do you guys think of the hair? And that is all for today's video. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.